Welcome back to Puerto Rico Life. This is Jeff. That's Hayden. Everyone say hi. Hayden's a friend of mine. He flew in from Chattanooga. And we're going to go have lunch in Via Case. So we're going to head over there right now. We're actually on the ferry, as you can see. And um, we haven't, I've never been over there. So I figured I'd make a little video about our trip for lunch at Via Case. So the ferry is a two-story ferry. Uh, 72 people on the second deck. I think about 100 on the bottom deck is the capacity. So it looks like we've got about 170, 180 people. I actually was able to walk up and buy tickets the day of, but um, you should buy them online if you're gonna be coming from some distance or at least come and get them a day or two before because uh, it's not a guarantee that tickets won't sell out. We're going on a Wednesday in the middle of the day, so it wasn't a big problem for us, but it could be a problem for you, so make sure you check in advance. Beautiful Vieques. Hello, chicken. There's a lot of chickens out here. So we just did a short walk um, from the ferry to this Mexican restaurant. Um, I will put a link to the restaurant uh, if I can find it in the comments, but uh, it's about two, three minutes walking from the ferry port. You just turn to the right, walk up the hill, turn to the left, it's on your right. Uh, it's quite nice and um, had some of the best pulled pork burrito I'd ever had in my life. Well, we've had a successful lunch here in uh, Vieques, and uh, the sun's starting to set, so it's time to head back to the ferry. Okay, we're returning to the uh, ferry port here. Getting ready to, uh, look at that sunset. What a freaking great day. So I would definitely recommend a trip to Vieques. So here's the thing about coming to Vieques. The ferry is only $2, $2 each way for non-residents. We were able to buy the tickets the day of, but you can actually buy them in advance. And uh, we came over on a three o'clock ferry. We're leaving on a 6.30 ferry. So we only spent like two hours here, but we had really great food. And uh, we've got an amazing, ridiculous sunset in the background. Okay, some final observations as the ferry approaches here. And I'm gonna have some video in a minute of uh, us on the ferry as long as the sunset's still going on behind me here, but um, yeah, it's stupid. So the whole process is actually really simple. Um, I will make sure to put in the comments the um, link where you can book the ferry tickets in advance, but they reserve a lot of them for local purchasing. So if you have a chance to come down to Saba ahead of time and just purchase your tickets a day or two in advance, that would actually be the most ideal situation. But if you can't do that, then what you're going to want to do is just go ahead and buy your tickets um, online a couple weeks in advance or a month in advance. That way you can be sure you get them. 
So I made it back, and um, there's one thing I forgot to tell you guys about on the way here is that the parking is about fifteen dollars a day, and um, there's a shuttle. How are you? What's you go in this tent here, and uh, you wait for the shuttle. The shuttle takes you to the parking lot, and when you're at the parking lot, the shuttle takes you back. No, it is walkable. I think it's probably like a five six minute walk, and we're gonna walk it tonight, um, but. Uh, but during the day when it's pretty hot and the sun's beating down on you, it might not be that great of a time to, to walk it. And there's a little store here that sells, you know, sandwiches, coffees, things like that as well. So when you do get here and you're waiting around for the ferry to leave, you uh, you can get a little refreshments and stuff like that on the way. So anyway, this has been Puerto Rico Life. Day trip for lunch in Vieques. Highly recommend it. I look forward to seeing you next time. So I just wanted to add this one thing about Vieques, and that is that um, when we got back to the parking lot, we had about a 40 minute wait to get out of the parking lot because I parked near the entrance to the lot, not near the exit. So if you get there, remember that everyone's gonna be coming back at the same time. There's only one exit to the lot, and it looked like they were working on building another one while we were there. But if you do end up going there, try to park as close to the exit as you can, not as close to the entrance as you can, because otherwise you'll be waiting for quite a while to get out of the lot, just like we were. But still, well worth the trip for a day trip to Vegas. I think maybe it'll be worth it to spend some more time on the island and explore. And in the future, if I do that, I'll be sure to make a video about that as well. As always, if you're enjoying my content, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much, and have a great day.